My past 25 years in the jewelry industry have put me in touch with a whole lot of jewelers. I've learned a lot and I continue to learn and grow every single day. But I wanna tell you, the saddest thing I've ever seen in this industry is when stores get so paralyzed by their own success and they stop growing or stretching or innovating because they're afraid to change. They're afraid to lose what I've got. Brad Huskin and I are always introducing best practices that have made jewelry stores hugely successful. And yet stores are often afraid to start that activity, whatever it is, because, well, we're pretty successful right now and we don't want to upset the apple cart. Where it gets really sad for Brad and I is where we can actually calculate their potential market value or their potential market share and they're at less than half of what they could be, meaning they could double their volume by just getting outside of their comfort zone and implementing something new. When sometimes that one new little thing could be as simple as selling one more add on item per day or implement a tiny little change in your bridal presentations. I've actually seen a situation where a store owner moved into a whole new market occupied by about a dozen jewelers and just take the market by storm. I asked them, I said, hey, why did you ever go into that market in the first place? What were you thinking? And he told me, he says, because everyone there was sleeping. They were doing nothing, nothing in marketing, no selling systems in place, the completely the wrong inventory and the wrong price points. Well, this guy had a system in place that was scalable, duplicatable, and he could predict to a high degree of certainty what his volume was gonna be at any time in the future. It's how McDonald's and Chick-fil-A know exactly where to put a new store. They have a system that's duplicatable, scalable, and proven. So if you're working your butt off, if, if you're nervous about the next pandemic <laughs> or, or what could hit our world, or worse yet, if you're so happy with how business is going right now that you're afraid to even make one little change, that's a big red flag that you need to change. And it doesn't have to be out of fear that someone's gonna come and take your market by storm, but it should be out of the fear of loss of how much bigger could we really be? How much more jewelry market share could I have? Oh, and one little indication that you may be too comfortable with your success is if Dawn leaves your store to go and work for another store in, in your same market. That could be because they have better systems in place that'll make Dawn more successful and eventually, of course, more money. So please check yourself. Are you paralyzed by your success? How much better could business be if I just stretched my thinking and my approach just a little bit?